Oh, hey, you're finally awake. Well, as you can tell, I did a few things, and let, let, let's just, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna show you how much these things can do. Damn it. 278. You heard me right. Everyone's chasing the Stygian dream down here. A way to make hell just a little more tolerable. And when you're surrounded with that amount of desperation, believe me, it's easy to find people who lay it all on the line. Some folks think I had all this handed to me and I take advantage of people, but here's the God's honest truth. In life and in death, I worked for everything that I had. Opportunities mean fuck all if you do nothing with them. Most of these poor bastards down here whine about their lot in life, but are unwilling to do anything about it. That's not me. That's not him. Alright, um, there was something that I did by accident, but where is it? Ah, this. Oh, this. Now, ah, there is more, okay. So, these things. Don't know what they are, but they're not fun to do. And I'm gonna do it. So, legit, oh, there's this guy. You too dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So I figured out how to upgrade my guns. Oh. Got it. Two hundred and eighty-eight. So legit, I've just been, like, I've upgraded, I've leveled up once. That's why I, I need to level up more so I can actually get more upgrades so I can go around and collect stuff like that, because that isn't easy to collect. Let's see what these things can do. Lost count on these things. Am I going to hit 200? Oh no, 300? And I don't know who the twins are, so I'm not really good with like the whole heaven and hell thing you can believe whatever you want because that's none of my business and it's really it's all up to you, you believe what you want to believe do whatever because you want to know something i'm not gonna stop you if people may want to but fuck them i don't know t like i know the names but other than that i don't know too much about them so if if I seem a bit a bit stupid on what I am looking or like know of the character, then yes, I, I'm definitely st like I have no idea. How do I ah? So I but ah here are the twins. Thumbnail. Twins. We're standing in a parking garage. I don't like it either, but Centerpool isn't giving us many options. I can't believe they tried to force us out. I can't believe you forgot the mimosas. I think <laughs> we have bigger problems. I don't think you realize how much I love mimosas. <laughs> I can't help but notice that people are trying to kill you. Yeah, they're really big on that here. What did you do? Is now really a good time? We can wait until we're done shooting people. Well, I'm great at multitasking. Remember when we offered you a deal on that airplane and you responded by killing everyone? Yeah. It's like that, but worse. This all hell's got to offer? Yeah. Ooh. I'm just that good. What can I say? I'm a natural killer. That, please don't take that out of context. What can I say except you're dead soon? That that looked that that was cool and it felt cool. 
Like, oh shit. Hey, Viola. I thought you should know that Kinsey misses you. Really? That's so sweet. Who's Kinsey? You remember Kinsey. She was that hacker that Matt Miller hated. Isn't she crazy? You know, she really grows on you. Mrs. Kensington. Did they seriously pull off? You cannot live Fine. Some I will admit, some of these powers are not too great. Me, and I'm no child. Oh, got him. Let's use the pistol. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Where is he? Headshot. Right, let's get you two back to Dane. Hooray. After being reunited in hell, Kiki and Viola wasted no time in doing what they do best. Facilitate the running of businesses. However, the De Winter sister's success did not sit well with other would-be power players in Hell. The sisters' operations all came under attack at once, forcing them on the run. Soon, the twins found themselves on the receiving end of an offer they couldn't refuse. After all, it was better to own one-fifth of something than to be dead. You're not wrong. You helped us. Now let us help you. Here's a little something made popular by another group of sisters. The Gorgons. The Demigorgons. Man. <laughs> Burst. Ooh. Oh, this is actually the good stuff. This is probably what I'm going to be using most. Right. Dane's letting us use his Ultor training room to test out your stone blast power. So go ahead and blast these demons to turn them to stone. After they're petrified, you can use your pistol to shatter them. Come at me, motherfucker. Nice. Stone blast is especially useful on flying demons like this one. Oh, that's nice. You just falls to All right, now let's see you drop a few more. Recharge on it. Oh, he dodged it. Nice, dude. It's like um. A blast will also take down the shield of a dark insider, leaving it vulnerable to gunfire. I think you've got the gist of it. All right, let's go. Mrs. Kensington. <sighs> I'm actually feeling a lot more better. So, um, I gotta do this. Oh, right, hover, flap out to even higher, more flaps. Okay. I'm just getting all of these because I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have them. At, it's better to have them now than later. Am I getting a call? No, I'm not. <gasps> oh, running. This is what I needed. Oops. Elements.
There we go. Perfect. Alright. Health. Here we go. We need that. And this. Oh. I didn't say anything. High and... Well... Uh, resistance. Melee, yeah. Rifle. Uh, bonuses. We're definitely gonna need that. Do I still have enough? No, I don't. Alright, well, that was perfect. We can now run up walls, like so. That is... Oh. That is so nice to have. That's so good to have. I like. I did. I wanted to do quests because, like, uh, I wanted to do quests just so I could get more abilities. But I didn't want to, you know, not do it and not have it like yeah. streamed or recorded. So, yeah. I, basically, I really wanted to play. I'm so fast. Alright, let's go down. All the way to the danger zone. Up. Anyone else want to turn? Uh, let's just. I'm getting shot at. Quickly, oh, come on. What should uh, yeah, it's just one dude. Fuck off with you. Gotta pick it up. Yeet. Wait, can I? So epic! That's such a great fucking. But I can! <laughs> That's so epic. That's such a cool ass. Like, that sound makes me feel powerful. Oh, it's a female demon. Epic. See, now that's epic. Perfect timing, my friend. Oh, God. Um, he's, he's gone up. Oh, God. Wrong one. Um. Uh. What 
What is that over there? <laughs> Can't get too close to me. Oh, here we go. Is he down? I should have gotten on the demon killing. <laughs> Nice. So epic, dude. See what these things can do. Whoop. Whoop. Oh. When you when when you feel epic, like that, that's that, that's what it feels like to me right now. I'm just, I feel like if I was if I was doing this in real life, I'm pretty sure I would feel epic. Can't run up the side of that. God, this feels good. Yeah. I've got to find more. All right. How how bad is Satan angry at me? Uh. All right. All right. All right. A chance that husk will jump to you, aid in your combat. Ooh. That's pretty epic. Alright, um... Let's go back... Yeah, let's go back to... Since I'm streaming, I may as well provide content. Oh, wait, 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 I need to do this. Sorry, I, I was, I was do, like when I was just going around, I kept on coming, managing to come back to that. Yeah. And I wanted to quickly get it done. Got it. The forge is prime real estate in hell. This smoggy shithole is located over the richest mineral veins in the afterlife. You want to hurt hell's infrastructure? Here's where you do it. I like working with the De Winters. Smart people are in short supply. Yeah. Alright. Um, I actually need to get ammo. Yeah, that's something I have to worry about in this game. Ammo. Wait, do I even have enough for ammo? Let's see what these things can do. At least I don't have enough. My ammo. Nope, 200. Fuck. Oh, that was cool. My lawyer, Legal Lee, figured out a way to get some gold level clients a fast track out of hell. The more abuse you put these guys through, the more years we can shave off. Lee suggested running clients through the designated intersections to boost their punishment. Oh, and dive in front of those vehicles on fire for bonus points. I mean, let's face it. The more they hurt, the sooner we can get these wretched bastards out of here. 
So basically, I just have to cause as much pain and suffering as I can. While his wife Laura was admitted into heaven, the Heavenly Father was less forgiving of Paul Tobias, whose shirtless antics as a crazed drug dealer firmly earned him a place inside the great inferno. However, ever the optimist, Tobias tried to look on the bright side of being transformed into a husk. After all, while the removal of his signature dreadlocks was a disappointment, he was finally free from having to wear pants ever again. But while Perpetual Commando appealed to Tobias, he still yearned for Laura and her delightful snickerdoodles. Touched by his story and terrified by his demeanor, Legal Lee worked with renewed purpose to unite the two lovers. Here we go. Sixty four years. Not bad. Let's head back to the cars. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Ah, actually finished. <laughs> Damn it! I wanted to keep going. Nice. I actually needed money. What? Do you really think Satan could still be thinking about Jezebel's wedding after all the damage you've done? I'm telling you, the devil is about to react in a big way. And when he does, you need to be ready. Oh, but I don't want to stop. Satan didn't have much time to react to the war Gat was waging. Because at home, Jezebel was waging a war of her own. I don't love them. You think I care? If you started acting like a father, you would. I'm looking after your best interest. You don't care about my happiness. This is about you. If you just stop telling... You will marry that saint, and I won't hear another word. I won't do it. You think because you're my daughter... Oh, come on, you man. You think that you're... But schemes are currently in motion. Your choice, be a wife or be a thrall. They say the devil's in the details. And I have some more for you. Celestial light doesn't shine a ray here. Happy endings are through. You belong to me. I'm giving you away. Your blood will not save you. My hand will be cruel if you disobey. You belong to me. Oh, I fucking hate singing. Never. Oh, come on, it's too. <laughs> I'm sick of the dishes. I'm tired of tradition. Break away to live for today to stand out beneath the sun. I know there has to be some way for me to be free. Just living a life that's far from the strife and torturous pain. Some place that's far from here and not awash with fear. Oh God, I can't wait to cast off this hate. I want to find love. There's a big wide world for me to explore. Uh... So 
Is it, is it finally over? Please tell me it's over. It's not working, Kinsey. You don't know that, Johnny. I'm tearing this place apart, but Satan doesn't even seem to. We didn't come this far to fail. You think I'm oh, giving up? Oh, fuck's sake. What if it doesn't work? The bus is counting on us. You think I don't know? How do I burn down a city that's baptized in fire? How do I kill off an army that's dead? I'm slipping away now, and the best plan we've got is just put one inside Satan's head. If roles were reversed, God, I know they'd save me, but all my solutions involve murder spree. You have to stay the course. Oh my fucking god. Course. Yeah, that sounds fun, but what has that done? We're still where we stand. The day isn't over yet. Our sun's not begun to set. No matter how small the wings of a fly can create hurricanes. Johnny okay. Gat. She gonna seriously fall in love with Johnny? Hope. I oh my hope fucking god! Oh. Why would it stop? Fucking hate musicals. I actually do. That that was so hard to sit through. I hate it so much. <laughs> I really do. I hate it a lot. Was that just the? Oh, that was just the first one. Oh, lovely. Oh, looking forward to the next ones. Oh, I'm really not. What's this? Can perform an oh an air stunt. Oh, that's not done. <laughs> no, whatever. Low sprint. Ah. Ooh. That was... Oh, I hate that so much. That was so annoying. Oh, I'm gonna need that. That is... This is gonna come in handy. Bonuses. Small arms. That's just basically any any bullets, like any shots taken from anything can it just it's less. <sighs> that was so hard. That was so annoying to sit there. Looks like Satan's noticed that the current disruptions have been caused by everyone's favorite wing terrorist. Looking to do something about it. Let's play fire in place with all around the city. Now these things look like slimy tentacles, but make no mistake, they can shoot you out of the sky. The only way we can stop these things is to literally rip out their hearts. And by we, I mean you. I'll be at the office drinking scotch. <laughs> Lovely. I, I think I've been seeing those. Like just the like grounds for them. They weren't actually done. Oh man, that was Ugh. Oh sweet. Woo. Oh shit. I barely saw that coming. What was that? Okay, I have a thought on how we can get the attention of Satan, and I really think you're gonna like this one. Blow the shit out of everything, and I mean everything! Demons, cars, and 
Fences are real popular. My, like, just give me like a million tanks and I should. Ah, oh, you just gave me a run on show. Need some cars, game. There they are. Wait, did I actually... Oh, I actually did finish it. I didn't know that... I thought it actually failed. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Now you. Johnny, stand with me and I'll let you move. audiobook there. Know your limits. It was the best piece of advice my father gave me, and I ignored it because I was a fucking idiot. I was the director of special projects for Old Tor, and I pissed it all away because my ambition got the better of me. The reality is, I'm a king maker. Not a king. I'm not going to make that same mistake twice. things can do.
Tonight it's salvation time. Satan's using his magic to send souls skyward and downward into oblivion. That's where you come in. Catch the falling souls before they hit ground and use an arcane blast to free the souls rising upward. Of course, once you do that, you'll still have to catch them before they drift off into their death. Speed is key here. You'll get a bonus for every soul you can save before touching down. Now let's go save some clients. I mean souls. Four poor souls that need help. Ah, fuck. This is not gonna be easy. Ah, oh, shit, my brother's arm. Alright. He was probably a bad guy anyway. <laughs> Say hi to the big guy. Alright. I probably did it. Salvation complete. Oh, yep. Thought so. After this, I'm actually going to be uploading some stuff. How far are we off from making the big guy angry? Very far. Distance. Probably should have spent that on weapons, but screw it. We'll do one more mission. Yeah.
Alright. Actually need MR. Like a church or some shit. You've just entered one of four soul extraction facilities. This is where souls enter hell to have their sins removed and then thrown to the streets to wander for eternity. Now make no mistake, this isn't Satan being magnanimous. Sins are the currency in hell. That means these places are the cornerstone of his income. There's three sections of the facility, and to fully take it over, you need to capture all three. But be careful. Satan's goons are going to be looking to reclaim any section you're not guarding. We pull this off, you'll hurt Satan and Ultor makes money. It's win-win. This is gonna be hard, but I know I can do it, because I'm extremely... I'm a lot more stronger now. That's also why I also wanted to get my... thing. How do I... what do I do? I have no idea. Um... Oh, hi. Yeah. All right. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Like a lot easier. Great work. Old Tor is moving into the territory you freed up, and we're already seeing a difference. I can't wait to see what happens when we own it all. Perfect. Okay, so, oh, okay. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be earning their loyalty, to, so I'll be able to, so they'll be able to help me. Alright, I think... Oh no, I'm almost done. Unlimited sprinting. It's gonna be so good. 
five laps. I think that, yep, that's max. Perfect. Upgrade. This is just magnificent. I I'm glad I got th that stuff because it's just making it's just making it easier. By the way, this game's on normal. Increase the health of husks that fight in your name. Alright. Look at that. Look how powerful we are now. Oh, wait, 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 that was an audio log. A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 1. The Dead. Welcome to hell, O oh ye of questionable morality. Who you were on Earth no longer matters. When you arrive here, everyone from... ...mightiest crime lord to the elderly gentleman who takes pens from banks begin the same way. As wretched ghouls wandering the streets. As a shadow of a man. You are stripped of your sins and condemned to a meaningless existence. Eternal play things for a demonic host who is all too eager to ply its tricks. These things are annoying. Let's see what these things can do. And this is so fun. I could I could keep playing this game. I really could, but I can't. Alright, um, ammo. Need, oh, I don't need damage, I actually need this. Wait. More accuracy. That is shit. I don't know how the fuck am I supposed to equip this? Man, this game is fun. Oh, I've actually nearly got this entire area. Whoa, what's this? Access teleport system. 
What? Let's go to here. Unlock additional gates to teleport. Ah, oh, okay. I gotta get this someplace safe. I, I can't stop playing it. I literally can't. It's so fun. I just want to keep playing. But I gotta hop off. I, um, I hope you guys all enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're on Twitch, follow if you haven't already. So you'll be able to see when I go live. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.